What is Cancer? A Book for Kids by Carolina Schmidt, illustrated by Bruno Kalman. Most of us, kids, have contact with someone who has cancer, a relative or a friend. Many children also have this disease. If at any moment some adults were talking about cancer and noticed that we overheard them, they would start to whisper amongst themselves. They think that kids don't understand anything. In fact, adults are the ones who really don't understand. The adults need hours and hours talking about cancer and asking other adults questions all of the time. Often, adults who are asked the questions know less than the ones who ask them. Kids can understand these things, but many times they don't know about them because they only hear the word cancer amid whispers and nobody explains it. What is this disease? Why do only adults talk about it? Why don't they tell me anything about it? One day, I found out all these answers. I wasn't feeling well, so my parents took me to the hospital where I got better. There, I heard adults whispering. Among the whispers, I heard the word cancer. The word cancer echoed inside my head because no one explained to me what it meant. I asked and they told me that I should rest. But what kid needs to rest when they just woke up? Kids want to play, not sleep. I quickly got a notebook and a pencil. While my mother was sleeping, I snuck out of the hospital room. I went for a walk in the hospital. I met a nurse in the hallway and I tried to ask her everything about cancer, but I got no answers. She took me back to my room. I snuck out again, but this time I was careful not to make the same mistake. I made sure the nurse didn't see me. I passed in front of a room and saw sunlight shining on many chairs. It was daytime and the adults were asking me to sleep. There were many children sitting there. Each one had a bag with a drug hanging on a pole sitting next to them. There was a kind of hose connected to the drug bag, carrying the drugs into their arms. I saw clear, red, and yellow drugs. I talked to those kids and carefully took notes of everything they'd learned from adults and what they'd heard among whispers. After that, I talked to adults. I approached them and told them that it was useless to hide anything, as I'd already found out a lot about cancer. They were kind, and then the nurse and the other adults told me a lot of things. I'll tell you everything I know. I discovered that cancer is a disease. I learned that we are all made of cells. One cell sits next to another, and together they form every part of our bodies. There are several types of cells. Skin cells are different from heart cells, for example. All of these cells grow, divide, and multiply. Several identical cells come from one cell. I have found that cancer begins when a cell is transformed into a defective cell. This defective cell divides to create even more defective cells. Sometimes a defective cell can be born from a healthy cell and the body doesn't notice. If the body doesn't notice the defect, the unhealthy cell can make other unhealthy cells, which can grow faster than healthy cells. They also need more nutrients than healthy cells. They press on parts of the body and cause damage to healthy cells. Because of that, the person may feel sick. There are many types of cancer, and the type of a cancer depends on the body part where it was born. Some types cause more pain and disorder than others. Some are easier to treat than others. Some people take drugs by mouth. Some people take drugs by the vein, which is a little tube inside the arm. The vein carries the drug through the whole body. Some drugs make a person bald, since the drug treats the whole body and can make hair fall out. Those drugs that make hair fall out are not necessarily stronger than those that don't do it. There are many drugs that treat cancer. Different types of cancer are treated with different drugs. Each person is treated with the drug that works best to cure the type of cancer that they have. The treatment is long, and it must be done exactly as the doctor orders. Some people improve quickly. Others, even with the drug, take a long time to get better. All these people take other drugs too to prevent pain and vomiting or throwing up. These people need to be treated with love because they're sick. These people can have a normal life, 
They can play, study, work, and be happy. They just cannot study and work when they are very ill. When they are very ill, they recover in the hospital. But I saw a lot of people studying and working in the hospital, too. Sometimes people with cancer can run, play, and jump. Sometimes they may be very tired and ill. It depends on the type of illness and where they are in their treatment. I also discovered the most important things. Cancer can be treated and cured. A person is beautiful even if they've lost their hair. I also learned how to live well and be happy by not focusing on problems, dealing with the illness, and staying close to family and friends. And I also discovered that adults just whisper because they don't know how to explain all this to kids. The End Moms and dads, take a minute to read the back of the book that talks about the author. Thank you.